Back like we never left. What is good, everybody? Today's video was by email request. When does a narcissist actually know what they are? Now you already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. If a narcissist can modify their behavior in public to give the perception that they're nice and that they're this great individual, you mean to tell me they don't know when they're being manipulative and lied to you? Become a monster behind the scenes to you? Use you, cheat on you, gaslight you to get an emotional response out of you? Come on now, you know that's cap. But, and this is a big ass but, you know this is all part of their plan, right? You know, to make you question not just your reality, but also whether or not they can change. To make you second guess yourself about whether all that potential they have will be given to the new supply. This is how trauma bonds get built during the relationship. We become so in love with the narcissist's potential that it takes away from the reality. The reality that everything in their action has shown you not only that the relationship is chaotic and dysfunctional, but it's also dangerous to your health and safety. And I don't mean that as a euphemism. I mean that quite literally. Because think about the compromising position we put ourselves in every single day. Coming home ridden with anxiety because you don't know how they're going to react when you walk through that door, does that sound or feel like a healthy place to be? Where you have to walk on pins and needles constantly? Where you gotta try and tame your personality and your opinions just to make your partner feel comfortable? That's not love, at least not a healthy love. The one thing you'll never need to question is your sanity and your discernment. And everything the narcissist has shown you is that they are intentional about sabotaging not just your happiness, your health, but also your love. Yet they want complete and utter loyalty because they feel they just deserve it. And please make that make sense to me, not only do they know what they are doing, that they are hurting you, that they're emotionally manipulating you, making you feel confused about all of the hot and the cold behavior, but they are also doing it to keep you around long. That's right, the more confused and disoriented you are in the relationship, the longer it makes you stay. The more they give you fake empathy, fake apologies, and make fake promises of change, the more you buy into the hope that they will. And what winds up happening in the end is it keeps you sticking it out, trying to give them more chances, and they just escalate the abuse even more and eventually discard you in the end. So it becomes important for you now to decide if you're ready to reclaim your peace and your happiness, if you're willing to walk out of the toxic fog and fumes that you've been inhaling for far too damn long and walk into the next chapter of your life, working on healing your present and your past trauma, addressing those abandonment issues you've been putting off for years, the betrayal trauma that you've experienced, seek professional help through coaching and therapy and start not just surviving but also thriving in this next phase of your life. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom. Become an official part of a team that will always push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.